You're watching State of Texas in depth on KXAN News. Good morning and thank you for joining us for State of Texas In-Depth. I'm Josh Hinkle. Less than two weeks from the state's primary election and the governor's race is pure political warfare. Republican Greg Abbott had a campaign appearance with conservative and controversial rock star Ted Nugent. And Democrats seized the opportunity to make that link. The Motor City madman is known for his charged language, but this could end up helping Abbott. We had a Wendy Davis in Detroit. We had a Wendy Davis in Michigan. Her name was Jennifer Granholm. And today, Detroit is an embarrassment. It is a cesspool. There is a de declaration of dependence in Detroit and Chicago. Ross Ramsey with our media partner, the Texas Tribune, says that by the time we get to the general election, assuming Abbott wins the primary, the public will likely not remember too much of this. As much as Wendy Davis may like to focus on things like Ted Nugent, the reality is voters are going to focus on the issues. That's kind of the subject of the day. They get on the news. People, all they're going to remember from this, I think, probably is if Greg Abbott, if this works for Greg Abbott, all they're going to remember is something about Greg Abbott. It helps his name ID. Later in the week, though, Abbott wasn't saying much about the appearance, despite the mounting criticism. And I think... Uh, we don't have to question Greg Abbott's courage because he invited me here today. <laughs> Democrats started fundraising pitches shortly after. They not only blasted Ted Nugent's comments about the president, which included a phrase popularized in Nazi Germany, but also the fact that Nugent reportedly admitted to sleeping with underage girls. Abbott eventually said he hadn't read all of Nugent's comments. As expected, his Democratic rival, Wendy Davis's campaign, blasted Republicans for staying quiet about the event. She said not a single Republican leader has condemned Greg Abbott's embrace and showcasing of Ted Nugent, who has boasted of having sexual relations with underage women. It's time for every Texas Republican to end their silence. Davis was among many candidates lining up to cast their early ballots this week for next month's primary. Davis does face an opponent in the primary, Ray Madrigal. Look, that's, uh, that's up to Greg Abbott. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let him run his campaign and I'm running my campaign. While voting in South Austin this week, Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst avoided talk about Ted Nugent's appearance with Greg Abbott. Dewhurst, of course, has his own primary to win. Three Republicans challenged him for his job. When asked about the campaign as a whole, Dewhurst appeared more than relaxed than at past events and forums. And I'm having a great time. David's just being David. I'm talking to people and reminding them what we've done and what I want to do in the future. Agriculture Commissioner Todd Staples showed up to the polling place in West Lake Hills this week. Blaming Dewhurst, Staples said there has not been enough leadership on tough issues like water and growth. Well, I think this race is not just about the next election. I really think it's about the next generation. What direction are we going to go as a state? Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson and State Senator Dan Patrick are also running for this office. With Staples running for Lieutenant Governor, the race for his current seat is getting attention. One Republican candidate got a big endorsement. Baseball fans will know. Hall of Fame pitcher Nolan Ryan appeared with Jay Allen Carnes in Round Rock. We spoke with Carnes about the endorsement and his push for food independence. We're one of the only places in the nation, one of the only places in the world that we can say that we're food and fiber independent and we're oil and gas independent. And my role as the Ag Commissioner will be focused in on making sure that we have that independent feeding source going forward. Carnes faces four other Republicans in the primary next month. Joe Cotton, Tommy Merritt, Sid Miller, and Eric Opiella. The Democratic side is also contentious with rancher Hugh Fitzsimmons facing country singer Kinky Friedman and cattle farmer Jim Hogan. Looking beyond campaigns, the state Senate's Health and Human Services Committee says it's been successful implementing abortion restrictions passed last summer. Outside that hearing, though, at the Capitol, State Senator Leticia Vandepute joined a rally opposing the restrictions. The Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor says some committee members seem more concerned with closing family planning clinics than offering health care to women. This is a very, very important issue. It's a very defining moment in Texas political history and American history in general. And that's important that we continue to make our voices heard and focus on fact-based arguments. 
Van Depute is the only Democrat running for lieutenant governor. And coming up, we go one-on-one -on -one with her here in the studio when State of Texas In-Depth returns.